All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango one nine nine four back with another YouTube video. Um, got a uh, a Kerno rig to have a look at this time, and this is um, the Kerno forty one hundred. I've uh, I did a video previously of um, a Kerno eleven hundred, and uh, this is the kind of I guess you'd say the the top end of the same kind of scale. There's a um, uh, Kerno uh, 2100 and also a 3100 and um, this is kind of the big daddy of all of them um, and uh, a very different rig actually it's got a number of uh, what should we say sort of more modern features uh, you can see from the front um, there's the squelch and the volume uh, but there's a series of buttons along the bottom and uh, they do a number of things and probably most notable this is a um a dual band rig so this does uh the uk fm as well as the european fm and uh one of the buttons on here uh switches it between the two uh but there's a couple of really really i think anyway really really nice features so um much like many of the rigs sorry it's a bit dark isn't it uh you've got a channel nine button there um, he says, trying to get it to work, right, channel 9, um, and then, uh, actually I'm not sure what the LCR is, I think that's last channel selected, uh, and then the UK and EU button, I don't know if you can see on the LEDs, it's currently reading uh, EU, switch it back to UK, uh, and it will cover, as I said, the two different bands, um, then there's a DW, now again I've forgotten what that is, I'm wondering if um, that might be some kind of noise reduction. Sorry, I'll have to look this up. I might put this in the comment at the end. Uh, and then there's a button for RF gain. So again, you can see from the signal meter, uh, I've got, there's actually a signal there. I've got the squelch right up. But uh, it looks like there's a signal there. But um, on the signal meter, if you press it, that's kind of local traffic uh, without the RF gain on. And then with the RF gain on, you can see I'm up to a sort of free and uh, bouncing. It does very much look like there's a signal there. But, uh, perhaps it's just not got any audio. Um, but probably the most important feature on this one is a scan button. So um, with more of the, or with the rigs with the more modern features, you press scan and it will run through See, it thinks it's picked something up on 29, um, but it will scan through all of the channels, seeing if there's anything kind of breaking the uh, breaking the channel. Again, it thinks it's picked something up on 17, and it will just keep spinning round till it finds something. You can also stop it. So uh, when it next stops, if I now press the PTT button, um, it will stay now on the channel that you've seen. And I think if we flick back using the last channel selected and um, you see it skips between 29 and 2 which were the two that it stopped on um, uh, as it was scanning um, and uh, you know as I said it's it's one of the more modern rigs you can see it's carrying the uh, the um, 2797 logo as opposed to 2781 so it's the more kind of um, tightened up regulations if you like the the more restricted uh, FM frequencies and um, what else to say about this one uh, one about the microphone we'll come to that in a second an interesting feature with this one is the the channel selector all right it's a um, kind of rotary select makes a funny like bleep sound when you're changing channels um, it's also a uh, what would you call it a jog wheel so if I just move it once to the left, once to the right, but keep kind of doing that. It um it goes up and down the channels. So if I, if I keep just flicking it left, 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 then uh, it goes down. And if I keep flicking it to the right, it goes right. That's what you'd expect <laughs> from a jog wheel, right? Um, other than that, not much to say. This uh, apart from the mic, let's just quickly have a look at that. So. This did come with uh, the original Kerno mic 
and uh, what you can see is you've got the uh, the channel up and down let me try and get that in focus not such an easy job at the best of times that's gonna have to do you I think um, you've got the up and down buttons up and down button sorry on the um, on the corners and then the UK EU button in the middle so I can switch between the two different frequencies just by using the microphone and then channel up and channel down as we said um, it's all working out all works as it should so pretty happy with that and a um, little bit of aging on the on the microphone um, just where the black has, has rubbed off now I did think about trying to kind of color that up just put a black marker pen on that I think would probably solve that problem um, the other thing was that it did have a bit of an issue when I when I first got it uh, probably won't do it so much now you get a little tiny bit of crackle um, but it was it was really bad when I got it so um, what I did and this is a tip for people if um, if they haven't come across this as a solution before uh, got myself some some contact spray some electrical contact cleaner um, just uh, with the with the little tube just um, flicked off the uh, let's see if I can do it one-handed again not always easy I'm gonna have to abort if I can't do it one-handed it's not gonna happen um, but that pulls off and then uh, just get the tube connected to that give it a squirt and um, just just helps with the general contact uh, underneath so it's um, it's really helped solve the uh, the crackle that you get and uh, if you have this problem with rigs that you buy uh, I think I paid about three quid something like that on, on eBay for the for the contact spray but you know I've only had to use it on this one this is the first time I've ever used it but I have to say it did it has really solved the problem so you know if you've got a rig that you would consider sort of unusable then uh, get yourself some contact spray give it a go with that and hopefully it will solve the problem all right guys so that's the the Kona 4100 as I say I'll, I'll put a link on on this video as well to point you to uh, the other Kona rig that I've reviewed but um, this is the beta 4100 from Kono great little rig um, and uh, it's already been up on eBay actually, so uh, I'm waiting for someone to, to pick it up. And um, next time I'm going to keep an eye out for either a 2100 or a 3100, and I'll do another review of those so that in the end we'll end up with a review of, of each of the different Kono rigs. Alright guys, uh, catch you in the next video. Cheers then.